Hey guys, so in today's video I want to talk to you a little bit about bullying. It's something that has been coming up a lot lately for me. I mean, I have a sister in high school and my job is making videos about controversial issues on the internet where cyberbullying is just out of control. Thankfully for me, I've been doing this long enough that I've built up a thick skin, but I still get horrible comments like this all of the time. And for me, I mean, I use it, I screenshot it, use it for comedy sometimes, but it does get to a lot of other people. And sometimes it can be about issues that are really serious. I made a video pretty recently about my friend Chrissy and what she was going through. And there are, were just, the comments were so horrible. I mean, there were people who were understanding and sympathetic. They signed a petition and that was great. But most of the comments just, they were not supportive. They victim blamed. So if you're not aware of what I'm referencing, I'm talking about a friend of mine who had something done to her without her consent and it was filmed without her consent and then posted everywhere on the internet as a form of bullying her. It was sent out to her subscribers. It, they were trying to bring her down because she was being successful online, being an activist fighting for equality. And they just, they were upset that she wasn't with them anymore and used this to victimize her. And even though I explained this in the video I made and talked about the struggle that she's going through and how this harassment almost ruined her life. I mean, she went through uh, very serious depression because of this, but I still got people commenting, how do I download her picture? Never mind, got it, lol. So I can sit there and make a heartfelt video where I'm almost brought to tears talking about a friend of mine who was victimized and bullied, and people hear this information and instead of signing the petition or making a statement about how this type of bullying is wrong, instead they go out and look for the exact thing that's been humiliating her for years. I just... <laughs> I don't understand people. But that story does have a happy ending. They're fighting against it. They're making incredible progress and they're staying very strong. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for a lot of other people who are going through things like this. There's a higher risk of self-harm and people who are bullies don't seem to take this into consideration. They have such low self-esteem that they feel the need to bring other people down to feel good about themselves. And this fear of bullying has prevented some brilliant people that I've met throughout the years from making videos and standing up for what they believe in. I go to different conferences and I meet people and it's so sad because, you know, young people will come up to me and they'll be like, I love your videos, I love what you do, I wish I could do the same thing. And every single time my response is the same, it's like, you can do the same thing, of course. You know, all you need is a camera and something that you're passionate about, which you clearly are, and you can post anything that you want on YouTube. Have your voice be heard, but they're too afraid of the hate and of the comments that they're gonna get to actually pursue something. And that's just so sad because who knows who they could have helped. So since this topic is so important to me, I wanna recommend a book out there. To those of you who are struggling with this kind of thing and need help, a lot of younger people might need some advice. And there's a book out there called The Survival Guide to Bullying written by a girl who is a teen and she went through some bullying. She gives her experiences in this book. She's really sweet. And there is an entire chapter starting on page 101 on cyberbullying, which is perfect for me and for anybody who's afraid to make videos because of the comments that they might get. It gives some really great advice. It talks about how sometimes you can have multiple accounts and it's the same person. So the person who uploads the video thinks, oh, well, I have all of these people who don't like me when in fact it's actually just one person and they have different profile pictures. They might change the way that they type. But if you notice, sometimes you get all the comments at once and they're all hateful. Or you upload a video and immediately it gets like 20 thumbs downs out of nowhere. It's because you have people who are dedicated to hating you. Try not to let it get to you. Grow a thick skin and realize that people feel, and she says this in the book, people feel like they're stronger when they're hiding behind a computer. Click on their profile picture. Go to their YouTube page. I bet they won't have any videos because it's easy to sit there and criticize somebody else whenever you have nothing available for them to criticize back. So, I mean, this, this really covers every single topic and it's really motivational and it gives like pep talks and boosts you up. And I think it's a really great thing. So if you guys are interested in this book, I will have a link to buy it in the description. So click that if you wanna check out this book, great thing. If you get it, let me know in the comments if you like it. Also, leave me a comment and tell me if you've gone through some form of bullying, what your recommendations are as far as how to handle those types of things, maybe things that you've gone through and ways you've overcome it so that people reading the comments on this video can hopefully learn from it and grow. And I just wish that we could all be nice. How hard is that? I mean, I know it's hard, but it's just something so simple to me, but so difficult for a lot of people to understand. So if you're going through stuff, don't feel sad, get the book, comment on this video, like it, share it everywhere. All my social media links are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>